Hello and welcome to Music Motors. Today you join me checking out the new Vauxhall Varo. This is an entirely redesigned platform and to showcase it, Vauxhall have turned me into a delivery driver for a day. So, five is on and let me basically show you just why Vauxhall have taken this time to redesign and make it so this works for everyone. Different trim levels, different bits and pieces. They have made this so that it can fit for any type of lifestyle or work style day, night or weekend or weekend night. Now let's talk engines and when we talk engines let's talk about the new powertrain 1.5 litre diesel and a 2 litre diesel. The lowest of the 1.5 is 120. Go up to 180 in a 2 litre. It also means higher fuel economy than ever before. More torque than ever before more usability than ever before. These engines are 23% more fuel efficient than ever before. They have lower CO2 emissions meaning that around town, especially if you're a delivery driver in London, you're going to have a little bit of an easier job with CO2 in the future and different bits and bobs. We all know that's an issue when it comes to delivery drivers. Speaking of delivery drivers, I'm wearing this still because I'm on my way to a delivery and uh, thus far it's pretty easy to drive. Outside, completely redesigned. Looks nothing like the previous generation of the Varo, but looks great. Looks really sporty. Even I mean, this is a higher end trim, give it its dues, but even in the bottom end, it looks great. You can have 17 inch diamond cap alloy wheels, bundles of technology, everything you could possibly ever want within an easy van platform. Now, the fortunate thing is with the new engine variants and the platform underneath being a PSA group, while you could be worried and thinking, oh, maybe this isn't gonna be something that, that I wanna trust because it's a new platform, it's a new engine variant, but it's not, because this is the engine variant that you'll see in things like the Peugeot Expert. As the plane goes overhead, summary, it's a tried and tested unit you won't complain about. When it comes to style, well, there's a trim for everyone three trim levels, the top end being the Elite. When it comes to the Sport, you do get things like 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels um, and bundles and bundles of tech as standard. Really, it then means that with those three trim levels, it can give you something base if you need something basic that you don't mind scraping around town. Something a little bit in the middle, so it's nice but not too shouty but relatively sporty, and then Elite. This is the, the premium of the level with lots of nice extras. It really is a fantastic level vehicle. All right, where am I looking for? Love it when the address doesn't match the postcode. Ah, uh, that'd be because it's a new build estate. Deals with the bumps pretty well though. Right, I've uh, made it to my first stop off. Well, realistically, this is the only stop off with the load in the back, so, um, Let's see how well this does. Uh, electric sliding doors though, that'll make life a bit easier because I'm lazy, very lazy. Do need my clipboard though, don't I? That'd be quite handy. Right, oh, signed off and all delivered. Ah, I forgot to shut the rear door, no problem. Not the rear door, the side door. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy or something like that, but now I've got to reverse out onto a main road. Oh, not to worry, I have sort of surround view, as in the one that learns the information that's in front of you, and a reverse camera. Happy days! The place where I think this has been upgraded the most is the interior, because previous Vivaros did have a very commercial feel, and now, because of the shared platform with PSA, this interior is bundled with technology, gives you ample visibility, and realistically doesn't feel like a van in the slightest. And when it comes to driving, it feels nothing like a van. It feels like a passenger car. Surprisingly, there's more standard kit than you could ever really need. And when it comes to options, well, you want Apple CarPlay, go for the middle and it's there. That's not an option. If you want heads up display, well, that is. If you want forward collision assist and stuff like that and you, you're in the bottom end, then it's an option. But within reason, the trim levels come with almost everything that you could possibly want. Electric sliding doors, however, that is an option, but an essential option if you're a delivery driver, like I am today, and your hands are going to be full and you're going to need to get some stuff out the back and it's not possible. It's just amazing to think that not that long ago, the Vivaro didn't have bundles of tech as standard. And now as I'm merging out, I can do it with confidence. Even though I've got a blind spot, there is a blind spot monitor. I need not worry. But on the motorway right now, I'm, I've got load. I'm sat at 57 miles an hour. I'm going to pop it up to 60 now. 
and it's quiet, it's refined. So really, to summarise, the thing I want to get across is the fact that no longer does the Vivaro feel like a van. I've taken this off because my deliveries are done. No longer does it feel like a van. It feels like a completely finished and rounded product which drives like a car, has the capability of a van, and has as much technology as you it could ever possibly want. So while prices on these start at around 21, you're going up to 25 if you go up to the Elite and you put some options in the bigger engine that you're going to want to because that bigger engine, 180, 400 Nm of torque, that's crazy. Vauxhall have knocked this out of the ballpark and I can't wait to see what they do when they update the rest of the range. Mm -hmm.